What's going on guys? Today I'll be ranking around 40 different individual and small group training drills. All of these drills are drills that you'd find me do in my own off-season training and probably have seen me do in my own off-season training. And I'll be ranking these in a six tier category. At the very top, we'll have S tier, incredibly effective and enjoyable drills that I absolutely love, my all time favorite training drills. Underneath that, we have A tier, and these are drills that are just enjoyable and effective. Then we have B tier, and B tier is kind of like a mixed bag. Some drills might be really, really fun, but not that effective and improving your game. Then we'll have some drills that are really effective, but they might get a little tedious. At the C tier, that's where we're gonna find drills with a major drawback. All of these drills are drills I kind of just view as like a supplement training, like a little accessory training to the main training drills. At the D tier, this is drills that are kind of just more for fun, laid back, or drills that you kind of do when you don't have the resources like a full goal, a big field, or other players. I don't want to give the wrong idea. Drills at the C and D tier aren't bad. They can still improve your game. They're still effective, but they might not be as game realistic or as fun as drills in the higher categories. And then finally, at the bottom F tier, this is drills that you should not do. Drill number one is the Ronaldinho drill. This drill is tricky because I a thousand percent believe that this drill has improved my tight space dribbling, improved my confidence on the ball, and just led to better footwork from me. But I understand the drawbacks of it. You really aren't picking up your head that much. You're kind of just controlled in that space. I get it. I'm gonna put this drill at the C tier. Next we have the 3v1 Rondo transition game. I love any type of Rondo style game and I love the transition aspect. The only thing is that 3v1, 4v1 is kind of an awkward number. It's like what you do when you don't have enough people to do a full 5v2, um, but I love it. I'm gonna put this at the A tier. Okay, next we have another very hot topic and these are ball mastery pattern style drills. These are ball mastery drills that you do a pattern over and over again. Um, they're good. I love how many good touches you can get into it, but there is really no creativity. It's not super game realistic. You're never gonna be following a pattern like that, but I absolutely love how confident you feel with the ball after and just how many touches you get. So I'm gonna put this at the D tier, but for something to do in your garage, in your backyard, in your own living room or bedroom, fantastic. After that, we have the semi-circle finishing game. Basically you take a touch inside the semi-circle of the 18 yard box and get a shot off. Love it. The only thing I would say is that maybe, you know, receiving that ball at that angle might be a little not super game realistic versus coming in from across or the side of the field. Um, but great, great finishing game. I'm gonna go B tier for this one. Small sided games. This is fantastic. Small sided games should be like the majority of your off season training if possible. But I'm gonna break this up. I'm gonna put all small sided games to mini goals at the A tier. And I'm doing this because I'm gonna put 3v3 or 4v4 games plus keepers, so really 4v4 or 5v5, to big goals at the S tier. I think that is like the best thing you can do because not only you're getting small sided play, but you're going and working on finishing with a goalkeeper. So 3v3 or 4v4 games to the big goals, S tier. And now this might be confusing, but I'm gonna put 2v2s and 5v5s to the big goals at the A tier as well. And the reason I'm doing this is because 2v2 is the big goal. I don't think you have enough people to do proper combinations. It's just kind of 2v2, it's okay. It's still great, it's still at the A tier, but it's not that S tier category. And now five field players versus five field players to the big goals, I think it's just too many players. I think it's best when there's four field players plus a keeper. That's why it's at the A tier. But small sided games, like I said, should be majority of your training if possible. I've been there where it, you just can't. Next we have horseshoes. Horseshoes is a fantastic game, working on the accuracy of your long ball, working on your first touch out of the air. Um, I love it, but it is really, it's a laid back game. It's a great game to do at like the end of a training session when you're already really tired. Um, so just because of that laid back atmosphere, I wanna put it at the C tier. Long distance juggling, where you're trying to keep it up with a partner, anywhere from like five yards, 10 yards, 18 yards, 30 yards, is a great drill to work on your first touch. Um, kind of, again, it's kind of more of a laid back thing, not super game realistic, but the quality of the touches that you get from it, the, just the, how much you develop from it is fantastic. Uh, again, I'm gonna go C tier, just right with horseshoes. Okay, next we have two touch. Two touch is just one of my favorite games of all time. I just love it when you have a really good group of guys and you really start pinging the ball at each other. It's a great warm up drill. And if you get a good group of guys that are really testing each other and testing each other's touch, it's fantastic. I'm gonna put this at the A tier just because I love playing that game so much. Trapezoid passing drill. This is a really good passing pattern and I love the variation where you do like a little extra one, two at the end. 
Uh, I'm gonna put this in the B tier. It's just a quality passing drill and you're working at different angles, different lengths. I really, really like this, this drill, especially when you get with a group that's really pinging the ball around. So B tier for sure. Next, we just have the standard cone weave. It's a good drill, especially, I mean, if you just buy yourself and you don't have a, a big goal or something, it's, it's better than nothing, but it is kind of like that repetitive movement. There's not that much creativity or any creativity really. And you're just kind of getting those touches in. Still will improve you, but I'm gonna have to put it at the D tier. Wall passing and wall juggling. Love it. This has been a game changer for me as well. Just the amount of high quality touches you can get from a wall just focusing on yourself is amazing. I mean, you can really challenge yourself, even if you're a professional, like really hitting the ball harder, going back further, really working on cleanly, like doing turns or like little advanced wall passing drills. You can just do so much from this. And I think if you're training by yourself, this is like one of the best things, best ways you can train. So I'm gonna put this at the, the A tier. Okay, mini ball juggling. Uh, I really like mini ball juggling. I think it's great. It really forces you to focus because that ball has a smaller like sweet spot, that contact zone. So you have to make every single juggle or every single touch even more controlled than with a bigger ball. But you know, again, like looking at all of these drills that we're doing, it's such a good list of drills. I think I'm gonna have to put it the D category. I think it's great. I think it's a great supplement to your training, but if you can do other drills with other people and more like game realistic type stuff, yeah, I would do it. But once again, it's, it's very similar to like ball mastery. If you're doing this in your backyard, getting extra touches in, in inside of your own bedroom, like fantastic. This next drill is, is kind of a recent addition to my training arsenal. It's that 1v1 game where you have three goals and you kind of do it at the, uh, the corner of the six yard box, but this really forces you to really get the defender falling for a move and you have to be so clean with all of your touches. Uh, I'm gonna put this at the A, A tier for sure. Next we have the layoff finishing drill. This can be done at an angle. This can be done straight down the middle. This can be done inside the box and really working on taking a quick touch and a quick shot. Uh, there's just a lot that you can do with this and it might be really, really simplistic, but I'm gonna put this at the B tier. I think so many times that simplicity is, is the best thing you can do when you're working on finishing. So I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it B tier. Okay, next we have 1v1s. I love 1v1 work. I absolutely love it. I think, you know, I had a coach sum it up really well and he said the game is a very simple game. It's about those passing combinations and finding those angles. And then it's about winning your 1v1 battles. And he's like, that's the game. I'm gonna break it up again though. I'm gonna put 1v1s to the big goal, especially when you're doing it at an angle at the S tier. That's like one of my favorite games of all time. It's so much fun. I love the finishing aspect on goal, and I even love the angle because so many times you're not gonna have a shot right in the center of the box. Usually it's at some form of an angle. So 1v1s to big goal at a different angle, S tier. And then I'm gonna put 1v1s to small goals when it's just like mini goal 1v1. I'm gonna put that at the A tier. I think it's a fantastic drill, but sometimes I think that it can slow down a lot because you know players get a little tired sometimes, players might just guard the goal, and it can definitely be slower paced than the 1v1s to the big goal with like a group of four or five players that are rotating. Next, we have one of my favorite games, soccer, table tennis, tech ball, foot mesa, whatever you wanna call it. I absolutely love this game. It's so much fun, it's so competitive. You can go 1v1, you can go 2v2, and I love the more dynamic, like slamming the ball, heading the ball down to the table versus kind of like popping it over a net, like in football tennis or soccer tennis. So I'm gonna put this game at the A tier. Next one is gonna be kind of like a broad category and this is individual sequence training. And this is basically where you add multiple drills in a sequence. A great example of this is kind of like that parking lot session that I had where I'm running away from the ball of like 20 yards doing a shuttle run, collecting the ball, doing a little Ronaldinho drill, exiting the Ronaldinho drill, doing a move at the cone, and then I'm passing the ball against a log or a wall and receiving that back. Multiple drills combined into one large sequence. I really like this for individual training, but again, I mean, individual training can only take you so far. So I'm gonna put this at the B tier. Next we have square passing patterns. This is like a staple of everybody's training program. I really like it. It's a good drill, but you know, there's more fun, better things to do. Kind of gets a little tedious at times. So I'm gonna go C tier. One by one yard box creative dribbling. This is like where you set a timer down for like 60 seconds and you just freestyle dribble inside this box. I think this is another good drill if you're training by yourself, just because uh, you're not just following a repetitive movement. 
Um, but you know, it has its drawbacks. There's not many times in the game where you're gonna be dribbling around a one by one yard box for 60 seconds without picking up your head. So I'm gonna go C tier. Now we have the classic 5v2 Rondo. This is S tier, 100%. I don't even need to explain this one. Zigzag cone weave. Again, another individual training drill. I like this one more than just like a typical cone weave because it's more game realistic, I feel like. You're dribbling, you're accelerating to a spot, you're cutting the ball with the inside of the outside of your foot, you're slowing yourself down, and then you're exploding out in a different direction. I really like it too if you alternate the distances. So you have one you know, that's like 20 yards, maybe you have one that's a yard, and so it's really forcing you different forms of like acceleration and controlling the ball. But yeah, I, I like this for individual dribbling training. I'm gonna go C tier. This next one is like a three person passing pattern. It's the diagonal box passing. I really like, again, the angles that you're passing because a lot of passing patterns or drills, you're passing it just straight forward. This one kind of forces you to open up your hips and play like more of an awkward angle type of pass. But again, it's just a passing pattern, nothing too complex about it. So I'm gonna go C tier. Nets or nothing but net. This is a, a fun game you kind of do where you just try to hit the net in the air and then you slowly move back and back and back and back until you can no longer hit the net. It's a fun game, super laid back though. Uh, I'm gonna go D tier. High kick juggling. This is a fantastic drill, especially if you're by yourself in a small area like your backyard or something. You're gonna take like five to 10 juggles and then whenever you're ready, popping the ball up. It can be as high as you want, up to head height or you know, 20, 30, 40 feet in the air. And then as that ball comes down, just working on killing it right back into that juggle again. So it's really smooth, the ball's not flying all over the place. If you consistently work on this, it's fantastic for that first touch. Uh, so I'm gonna go C tier. Next, we have the Y passing drill. This has a ton of different variations. Um, I really like this one just because it's game realistic. You're working on turns, you're working on layoffs, you're working on longer range passing, you're working on one twos, shorter range passing, you're moving a ton. Really, really good drill. So I'm gonna go B tier. Trapezoid partner passing up next. This is a really good drill. You have a couple different variations with it. It's really tight, compact. You're working not only on that one touch bounce pass, but you're also working on taking your touch away from pressure, like laterally, which I really like. I could do this pattern passing for a long time. So I'm gonna go B tier. Up next is soccer tennis or head tennis. Uh, this is such a fun game, so much fun. But I'm gonna have to put this at the B tier because I think that foot mesa, tech ball, soccer table tennis, whatever you wanna call that, I think that's more fun. Like I like that game for whatever reason more than the classic soccer tennis. Varied gate dribbling. This is another individual dribbling drill. It's a good one and I really like it too if you're mixing up the gates and you're changing the order of it. So you have to constantly pick up your head, see where that next gate is, explode out to it. And then if you make that gate really tight, you have to really do a focus controlled touch through those cones and then pick up your head once again, find the next gate. So I'm gonna go C tier with this. Now we have the classic juggling. I mean, this, this drill is, every player does this and it's a great drill. I did like a thousand juggles a night for a hundred days straight to get to a hundred thousand juggles when I was in college. It really improved my touch. But you know, again, you're kind of just juggling. It's not, there's better drills out there. But once again, if you're in your backyard, your bedroom, your garage, fantastic. I'm gonna go D tier. The 90 degree passing drill, I'm gonna go A tier with this one because I love how you are running forward into that pass and then laying off a clean pass right back to your partner. You're bouncing back and then you're checking your shoulder and working on turning and collecting and going out a different direction. I think this passing pattern is just so realistic to what you do in a game. So yeah, A tier. Ooh, okay, so that is my list. Like I said, all of this is based off of how much I enjoy these particular drills and how much I feel like they can improve your game. So there's gonna be a lot of opinion there. So I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Let me know what you would do differently in the comment section. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, peace.